get that up. word off my planet. Take it, take it away, take it away, take it away. And, I mean, it sounds cool, guru, goo, but, yeah. but it's kind of gooey. I have no focus on needing to fix anyone because there's not anything wrong with anyone. It's not teaching you how to be. It's teaching you to appreciate the being. Who the hell are you and what do you do? You know you're dead, right? How freaky is that? How's that working out for you? What are we doing now? What are we doing now? What are we doing now? I wonder how that is. Where do seagulls go at night? You know, these want to kill me and those want to kill me and those why I'm a nice guy. Wow. What just that? Listen, how ridiculous does this have to get? I I, I took the liberty of looking up shenanigan. Uh, (laughs) And and there are some words in their synonyms list that, you know, uh, wickedness. And I don't know that I'd go that far. But they also have some great words like buffoonery and monkey (laughs) business. The things that flow inside your veins are the same things that flow inside the universe. And the same things that flow inside the tree and inside your kitty cat and inside everything. So you can't separate yourself from any of it. Um, well, I'm glad that nobody eats their babies. I, what, what are we talking about? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did we get those How did we get those to- What are we talking about? Occasionally we were, we, uh, we were talking about everything that people have in common, and then we were eating babies. What happened? <laughs> Chicken, where did you go? The problem is, people, they don't want to listen unless they hear it from a certain book, written by a certain man, commissioned by a certain king. And have banded together to shape American education in order to provide a docile workforce and effective managers to basically feed the needs of growing corporations. Because channeling really, from my understanding, is a natural state that we all have the ability to do and that from time to time we all do experience. Because anytime you're doing anything you love to do, anytime you're acting on your passion, when you're focused on something and there's no sense of the passage of time, when an actor becomes the character, when a singer is lost in the song, that's a channeling state. I see the commonality between the teachings and all of these religions and I cannot figure out what the hell you people are still fighting over. I don't get it. We are all one. We are all connected and now you're just pissing me off. I don't care if they're one-year-old, two-year-old. If they seem to be sort of set on getting something across to you, at least take a moment and see see if you can see what it is. Seems the only loving and respectful thing to do of your child. I know you and Gene both haven't got it all figured out. Oh, hell no. (laughs) No. (laughs) I think the the best part about this show is that we get to learn every time we come on the radio. Every single time we come on the radio, uh, we learn from our guests in the chat room. We learn from our guests who call in. We learn from our guests that we have on the show talking. Um, I don't think I've ever done a show where I haven't learned something I'll tell you right now, everybody's idea is just as valuable as everybody else's. Life is a choice, and it all depends upon what you are going to focus on and who you think you are. You know, we need to balance the profound with the profane. But I think that each of us is is so much more powerful than we might be inclined to think. Everyone is a teacher and everyone is a student, you know. You never stop right. teaching, you never stop learning. Well, I think we're all coming to this point where all of this life that's being added to the world, we are being asked to be leaders, but we each need to learn how to lead our own lives first. Well, the greatest abundance is who you are. I try not to watch the news too much, it lies. I'm not a teacher. Uh, I'm just a fellow traveler, and you asked me the way, so I pointed ahead of you, which is also ahead of me. There's a great power in us joining together. Humanity is not a mistake. We're just mistaken. The crisis will bring that spirituality or that or that um, that uh, intuitiveness to the surface. Because I really believe that our bodies have been speaking to us since the beginning of time. My dear fellow, I'm dead, not stupid. Humanity is really awesome. (laughs) I mean, we know. And the thing is, is that only your spirit will know and your spirit will lead you. Just ask.
to say, you know, please put me into the places and situations where I am to be, you know, where I can learn, where I can grow, where I can heal, and the gods, without fail, will put you there. If you don't have faith that you can do anything, you can't do it. I like to remind people there's just really nothing that serious going on down here. The thing is, like, I didn't change the world, I didn't change how kids grow up, but I can change how I look at it. We're all the same. We've always been the same. It doesn't matter what holy book you break out, we're all the same. Where do seagulls go at night? Well, they go into nocturnal flight. Perhaps to your eyes they're out of sight, but they're okay and they're all right. Don't imagine how you're going to get there. Just imagine being there. Don't be afraid of the unknown. The only thing you're ever going to find in the unknown is more of yourself. You know, I mean, every single holy book there is, from the Quran to the Vedas to the scriptures, I mean, we're all the same. And we've all come from the same place. If your guru is telling you that they have all the answers, get a new guru. If your guru says that you have all the answers, carry on. We are all the center of the universe. Everything begins and ends with us. There's nobody to blame, I guess. There's just ground to reclaim. Hey, you have a magic. You know, you have something that's wonderful in you, and I want to embrace it. Can't solve the problem with the same thinking that created it. You know, there's there's looking within and connecting, and 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 there's also inspired action, and and I think that a lot of people miss that. Expressing that energy through physical action grounds it in physical reality and allows the effect of that energy to radiate out in the physical world. And it's so important for people to understand. I mean, you know what? If you're a mechanic and you get into the zone and you fix the car and you just, you know, you automatically know what to do and your hands are going, to me that's a, a way of channeling your higher self. Um, Absolutely. I, I wish people would just accept that it's, it's natural. There's nothing magical or mystical about it. It's part of your being. It's part of who it you is. are. It is. It's all connected. It's all interconnected. And I think it, it's really representative of that state that best expresses our, our being as a whole person. It's the, it's the balanced relationship between the physical mind and the higher mind expressing itself as a total being. Everything is about a connection with spirit. Everything is spiritual. And, and actually, it's, it's one of the things you find in the Bible, if you look at the original context, there's no word in the Hebrew language for spiritual. And so actually, you won't find the word spiritual anywhere in the Old Testament. Uh, and Jesus never taught of your spiritual life as compared to any other part of your life. Uh, he just taught about life because the Hebrews had a complete understanding that everything is spiritual and everything you do is a connection with spirit. And there's no kind of special ritual, to use that word, to be able to connect you with spirit. But actually, uh, the whole of life, everything holistically is, is, a, is a walk in the spirit because you're one whole person. Your physicalness is actually a part of your spiritualness as well. It's a silly subject. That's just so crazy. That's so crazy. It's a good kind of crazy. It's a real story, people. We're all here on the phone talking with each other for our own growth uh-huh. and expansion. And, Absolutely. And it is just an amazing gift that this journey of ours might be of some help to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Come play. Ooh, you know, he's, you know, I, I, he's, ah. So. Yeah, monkey business, monkeying, and monkey shines. Buffoonery, I love it.